It's that new wave. Future Hendrix. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that's that's shit, that's shit. Huh? Yeah. Hey. A lot of people right now, they ask about the name. They ask about the name every time I look. You got a brother that's like, yo, Game 7. <laughs> that's obvious. Everybody should know what Game 7 is. Well, those who look at the NBA championship, Game 7 is the last draw, the last Mohegans. Ain't no more after that. You know what I mean? I'm sitting in prison cells all these years, man, just sitting there. And I'm wondering, hey, man, what the hell did I do with my life? I'm looking around the cell trying to find where my life went, man. But it was an old guy who woke me up. Older brother from out of Virginia, man. He walked up to me in the child hall. And I got a lot of people around me. And he, he, he weaved his way through and he looked at me. He took his glasses off. And he said, oh, wasted talent. I was like, wow. Damn. He done summed up my whole life. He told me, he said, yeah, you went from a hip-hop artist to a comedian. But the biggest thing is you a convict. You was a convict. Ain't nobody fucking with no convicts, man. I was like, wow, wasted talent, man. I mean, I could go all day about the hood legends that I've been around, but from Guy Fisher to Peter Shue to Joe Sherman to, it goes on. Scoop from Yonkers, Scooter from Brooklyn. It goes on. Jermaine Steele from Queens. I could, I could name drop all day. But Wasted Talent was something that stuck with me. I was like, wow, man, this is crazy, man. It was like times like when I called my mom and my mom tell him straight up, have you worked on your anger issues? Because, boy, you got anger issues. I had anger issues because I had no love. The love was gone. Future Hendrix. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that's it.